Christians Free Week in Jesus' awesome name. Yes, what an awesome opportunity to come to your way again, to come into your home via this media. I want to say blessed and a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. As the case may be in your place, but here it is morning. So that's why we call it breakfast time. Oh, YouTube family, God bless you. The Facebook family, I salute you. God bless you. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we've not had breakfast. I mean, we've been having breakfast praise, breakfast worship. And the last one was breakfast worship with Minister Destiny Sass. Hallelujah. It has all been awesome. Yes, our break was not really intentional. But one good thing I have to say about that break is that the Bible says all things work together for good. So it is for our good. I will give God praise. And the most important thing is we are back again. We are here again. Breakfast time is here again. Hallelujah. Yes, before we just go into, before we just pray, I want to sing this song. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shaman, I see you everywhere. Blessed Redeemer, your glory fill the earth. Everlasting Father, who watches over me, put my confidence in you alone, Jehovah Shaman. Hallelujah. Yes, my confidence alone is Jehovah. It's on Jehovah alone. Sorry for my voice. And there's a little bit very, very early. And I have been never sleeping. I just want us to lift up our voice and appreciate the Lord for this month of October, for what He has been doing in your life, in my life, and in the life of everyone around us. Let's thank the Lord for His faithfulness. Faithful and everlasting God, we have come before your throne to say thank you, Father. We hallow your name, Daddy. We worship you, Lord. For who you are, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for the blessedness of the new day, the new week. Thank you, Lord, for the daily loss of blessing. Thank you for your mercies and your compassion that faileth not in our life. Thank you, O oh God, for your divine protection. Thank you, King of glory, for all that you've been doing from January to now. It has been you alone sustaining us and carrying us in the wings of your spirit. Therefore, we have returned to you in praise, Lord. Father, even as we're about to hear your word again, Lord, we pray that this world will prosper us. Thank you for keeping each and every one of us all through this period. And Lord, we depend on your fresh word this week. And we say, Lord, speak to us in the language you will understand. Make no allowance for flesh. This way you are done. Keep the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Bless the listener and bless the speaker. In Jesus' awesome name. Amen. Yes, by the special grace of God today, I just want to quickly share a little with us. You know, I was reading the Bible and I saw something that caught my attention that I've not seen for a while. Or I've not seen like that. I have been reading the Bible, but I've not really fixed my eyes on that particular point. Hallelujah. And it's taken from Matthew 11, 28 and 29. Then my action point is going to be in 29. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. Another fashion say, learn from me. Because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your soul. I pray the Lord bless his word into our hearts. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I have one read from that scripture. We find out that Jesus is the perfect example that God Almighty gave to us. And that is why he stated, he said, learn from me. And this version I used, he said, let me teach you. My brothers, my sisters, I have come to remind us that men are not our measuring ruler. They are men before they became of God. I had a brief chat with a man of almost close to 70. And I was asking, uh, talking to him about church. And he told me something, I'm not ready yet. I said, why? 
and he began to give excuses for men, 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 men. And one of the things I saw there is because we have allowed men to be teaching us. We have allowed ourselves to learn from men. You know, that particular place, learn from me. I have never seen it as learn. As, I have always been reading it as lean on me, lean on me, until yesterday, I was going through the Bible in the early hours of the morning, and I saw that word learn, what is it trying to tell us, learn from his character, learn from his personality, look at what he said, he said, because I am humble, because I am humble and gentle at heart, I have seen people leave their place where God has planted them because they have made the pastor they have made the deacon they have made the people there their measuring ruler they have made them their God who they learn from you hear if he can behave like this then I can't be there I can't tolerate him Jesus did not call you to go and learn from her to go and learn from him. He said, learn of me. So therefore, when you are called, when God, by his divine mercy, plant you in a place, focus your eyes on what is being learned from Christ. What is being learned from Christ. Today, nearly everybody is throwing stones at the men of God. We men of God, we have forgotten that they are men. And even as a man, the Bible says our flesh constantly is in conflict with our spirit. So therefore, the fact that they are men, they are flesh, they, 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 they struggle the way you struggle. They are work in process. Length of me is not a one day thing. It is a continual thing, thing that do you part. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I came to, to encourage you that you will direct your focus on Jesus. To redirect your focus on Jesus, who is the one that is teaching us. And as he's teaching us, whosoever God has led you to learn from that fellow what Christ is teaching the fellow. And take your eyes off of what the flesh, the conflict that the flesh is producing. Hallelujah. Jesus said something here in John chapter 14, verse 10. He said, do you, he said, do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? He said, the word that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me. In other words, Jesus was also learning from the Father. What he was doing was the Father's instruction. It was from his Father's instruction. So therefore, if God has led you anywhere, God has planted you anywhere, don't allow what men are doing to approach you from your source. Because God has a plan why he took you there. Go there. Learn from the Lord. Let Jesus teach you. Let him teach you through that fellow. Let him teach you. And what are the things Jesus can teach us? What are the things that we can learn from Jesus that we can see? One of the biggest is Jesus is a compassionate father. Humble. Look at, he just told us, he said, I am humble and gentle. Humility and gentility. One of the biggest. And I pray the Lord bless you this morning. I just came to just give us this. I said, look, stop throwing stone and stop allowing men to determine your relationship with your maker. Stay focused on him that has called you. Let him teach you. Let him teach you. Let him teach you. Don't run away from the place he wants to teach you. Let him teach you and learn from him. He's the perfect teacher and he's the perfect example for us. I pray the Lord bless his word into our heart in Jesus' name. God bless you. I am in future this way.